Top 5 Best Locations in China Welcome to my channel. So before we get started with our video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and if you are new here subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon so you never miss any updates. Ever since the world first discovered China through the writings of adventurer Marco Polo more than 700 years ago, this large Asian country has come to be regarded as the embodiment of all that is mysterious and exotic. Even now, after decades of economic growth, this vast country has lost none of its fascinations. Indeed, the contrast between China's ancient customs and the new ultra-modern state that is developing has only increased the fascination with a culture that dates back many millennia. It's a culture that is much celebrated by the Chinese themselves, as evidenced by the preservation of such important historic sites as the Forbidden City and the Summer Palace in Beijing, each recalling the days of China's emperors. And then, of course, there's the famous Great Wall, winding for 6,700 kilometers from the Yellow Sea to Central Asia, while its countless shrines exude the spirit of age-old Eastern religions. Discover fascinating, unusual, and adventurous things to do with our list of the top 5 tourist attractions in China. Number 5. Cruising the Li River, Guilin. The town of Guilin, in the northeast corner of Guangxi, boasts some of China's most beautiful countryside and is famous for the Li River which meanders through the town and surrounding karst mountains. While for hundreds of years this unique scenery has attracted poets and artists and has been the subject of countless fairy tales and legends, these days. It's popular with tourists from around the world wanting to see this natural splendor up close. The best way to enjoy the area is to take a cruise along the Li River. The most popular stretch is from Guilin to Yangshuo, where the river meanders peacefully through some 80 kilometers of remarkable rock formations and caves with romantic names such as the Mount of Unique Beauty, and Elephant Trunk Hill, and Reed Flute Cave. Number 4. The Summer Palace, Beijing. An easy 15-kilometer commute from Beijing, the sumptuous Imperial Summer Palace, Ye Yuan, is set amid more than 700 acres of beautiful parkland and is one of China's most visited attractions. While the palace itself was built in 1153, its large lake was added in the 14th century to enhance the Imperial Gardens. Highlights include the magnificent Hall of Benevolence and Longevity, Renshu Dian. With its throne, and the beautiful Great Theater, a private three-story structure built in 1891 to satisfy the imperial family's love of opera. This historic venue is still used for performances of traditional Chinese plays and musical events and is worth a visit for a performance or show. Number 3. The Terracotta Army, Xi'an. It was while digging wells on the outskirts of Xi'an in the 1970s that farmers stumbled across what was to be China's most important archaeological find, the Terracotta Army. Distributed over three large underground pits and built to guard the first emperor's tomb, the find included more than 8,000 life-size warriors, some 520 horses, and more than 100 chariots, along with numerous other non-military characters dating from around 280 BC. Although some were severely damaged due to the passing of time, many of the statues unearthed have been painstakingly reassembled and stand as a testament to the importance bestowed upon the emperor in the afterlife. The site, part of Emperor Qin Shi Huang's Mausoleum Site Park, is one of China's most important tourist destinations and offers the unforgettable experience of standing in front of this assembly of soldiers and horses as if inspecting a centuries-old parade. The English language guided tours are available. Number 2. The Forbidden City and the Imperial Palace, Beijing. China's largest and most important building, the Forbidden City, Zijingsheng, also known as the Imperial Palace, is situated in the very heart of Beijing and is a must see when visiting the country. Starting during the Yuan Dynasty between 1271 and 1368, much of the complex seen today was built between 1406 and 1420. Many splendid palaces in one, this sprawling complex was the residence of 24 Ming and Qing emperors, whose presence forbade the entry of anyone other than the imperial family and their courtesans. Covering some 720,000 square meters and protected by a 10-meter high wall with watchtowers and a wide moat. This massive complex consists of areas set aside for ceremonial and administrative purposes, as well as a private residence used by the emperor. Number 1. The Great Wall of China. Nobody can be a true hero unless he has been on the Great Wall, goes the popular Chinese saying. One that demonstrates the importance placed upon this unique ancient monument. The magnificent Great Wall of China, known in Chinese as Chongcheng, or the Long Wall, 
stretches more than 6,000 kilometers from the fortresses of Shanhaigan in the east to Jiayugan in the west. Passing through Hebei, Tientsin, Beijing, where the best preserved sections of the wall can be visited, Inner Mongolia, Ningxia, and Gansu. Averaging 6 to 8 meters in height but rising as high as 16 meters, and wide enough in places for 5 horses or 10 men to pass. The wall boasts numerous battlements and watchtowers. Some of the wall's oldest fortifications date back as far as the 7th century BC, with the best-known areas added around 210 BC when its various sections were joined together. Let us know what you think about the list in the comment section below. If you enjoy this video, please like the video and also subscribe to our channel. Thank you.